everyone, good morning, happy Monday and welcome to a brand new week and a brand new week of shows here on Hunky Dory TV. Um, today's show um, is a brand new launch for you. We showed this on Creating Craft on the weekend and it sold out. It is a brand new Snippables collection. Um, so get excited for that because it's going to be a very fun show. And joining me on today's show to show you just what you can do with your Snippables, um, it's Rachel. Hello. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. We're both very floaty and floral today. I know, I know. We did notice we're that when we were walking in. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much like matching on different tones. Coordinating. Both black, both floral. Um, we didn't text each other on planet. Um, so, um, Rachel is going to be doing our demos today. Emily's over in the um, technical corner making sure that everything is working smoothly. We have one day left of our Super Saver deals. One day left. If you haven't already got your deals, then here are some of what you could be getting because they are still available. Um, so our Prism Ink Pads, you can get any six for nine pounds. What a great way that to just top great. up your stash. Maybe you've got some colors that aren't uh, working as well. Get them on this amazing deal. And then we have our, oh, this is a good one. Ooh, our double-sided A3 cutting mat. Now, an A3 cutting mat is a great size Definitely. if you are a stamper because you need that space to make mess. Then we have our glitters and sequins. These are now buy one, get one free. What a great time to get these when you're gonna be getting ready for all your Christmas makes. And an essential is our finger lift bundle. Um, you're gonna get 10 rolls of tape here. And I think there's 30, I want to say this, that there's 30 meters. Wow, up that's per a lot. Or maybe there's a, we need to double check this. I'm gonna check how many meters that is because that is a lot of tape for £8.75, a lot of tape. Um, but before, while we're checking that, let's have a look at the next one. We have some stamps for you. These are our Simply Flat Flower Bundles. They are very, very cute um, detailed stamps. Great for using with your ink pads, doing some really fun, bright, colorful cards. Right, I was right, wasn't I? Wow. Oh, I know my stuff. <laughs> so 30, that, let's go back to that one. This tape, you're going to get 33 meters on one roll. So you're going to get 300 and I've got, uh, no, let me do my maths. A bit, probably a bit more. Three, th no. How, how many? 33, 33 times 10. 330. 330. Yeah. Was, yeah, 330. You know what? I was right, wasn't I? Yeah. I was like 300 and, th and then I was like, no, because you it's need times of 30 free. by 3, but then you actually don't do it. <laughs> Idiot alert, it's basically Monday. you get loads. <laughs> but yeah, basically, absolutely loads. 330 metres for £8.79. Let's go back to the stamps because these are really cool. Um, and what a great price they are. £17.99 down from £52. Um, to go alongside them, you're going to need um, lots of these to use with your inks. We've got our blending tools. They are now £3.99. And because we here at Hunky Dory love to be super, super organized, we have a blending sponge for each of our uh, dyes, then you can get 40 uh, dyes, each of our um, ink pads, then you can get 48 for £9.99 and have your ink pads as organized as ours. That was, that was, that was hard for a month <laughs> I'm going to say, that was very, it, very it's hard. It's all these crazy deals. Five minutes Just past like, ten. <laughs> blown cool. away. I'm struggling already. Um, next up, we have our Win It Weekly competition. It's your chance, once again, to get hold of some amazing freebies. And this week, we are giving away our Prism watercolour pencils. Now, if you are a fan of Prism and you've been waiting around, you'll have been waiting quite a while for these to come back into stock because um, it has been a very long time. Um, but our Prism watercolour pencils in our amazing little um, caddy um, where you have all of your pencils stored in here. There's a little zip for storing your watercolour pencils, your water uh, pen, sorry, for when you're out and about so you can get colour in. Uh, four people are going to win these. Four people. Wow. This week's question, however, I'm excited for this is the following. 
Like, share and comment which statement is true. I can't say that. What are you going to say? A relic Heidelberg printing, Heidelberg printing press prints hunky-dory goodies. So that's statement number one. Ooh. Statement number two, we keep a Christmas tree in the office all year round. <laughs> or C, Dan displays a collection of Barbies <laughs> in his office. What is the true statement there? So we print all of our stuff on um, the Heidberg printing presses. We keep a Christmas tree in the office all year round, which I mean, it's Christmas all the time which here, isn't be it? Quite good. Um, or C, Dan displays a collection of Barbies in his office. Now we all know how weird he is, so he think has about a lot those of three. Stuff in his office, he does. Well, ha he it? has a lot of stuff in his office. He does have display cabinets as well. Yeah. But what so are in those be. display cabinets? Hmm. Um, so which statement is true, um, A, B or C? You need to like, share and comment down below with what you think the answer is for your chance to be winning these pencils on Friday's show. Now, let's get into it because I know if you were watching the shows at the weekend that you'll have been waiting for this show because it's sold out and you're thinking, where else can you get it from? Well, you can get it right here this morning directly on hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. It is our Christmas cheer um, Snippables collection. Let's have a look at this BT. Ready? Oh no! Everything's <laughs> falling out of place. Okay. So, how pretty are these, by the way? I absolutely love them. I really, really do. This Snipples collection is a, a collection that is designed for you as crafters by people here in the office who are crafters. And the lovely Stacy designed this collection for you. Um, and she, you, as you know, is a person who loves crafting. She loves to make things that are affordable, that are fun, that can last you a really long time. And that's what this Snippables collection is about. So Snippables are a decollage collection. I'd say decollage because it's a little bit bigger than decoupage, um, but it's a, a way that you can create your own decoupage affordably because decollage dies are expensive. Yeah. And we know that the big companies sell them for plus a hundred pounds. You're getting a decoupage die here um, for what's the price, Emily, of one? It's Monday, you're gonna have to remind me. Nine pounds oh, wow. ninety-nine. It's crazy prices. So in these die sets, and this is the first one which is my favourite, it's a lovely lantern, you're going to get that one big die and then you get your um, sentiment. And then when you open out your packaging, you have a full guide to where you need to snip your dies. Now when these dies cut, they have little pips attached to them, um, which keep all these little pieces together. And when you just snip them away, then you reveal your layers and that's what we have on our boards here for you. Um, so you can see that you have both colorways from the paper pad, which we'll show you um, a little bit later on. So you've got the full layered decoupage here, and then you've got all the individual layers layered up and cut out um, with your sentiments. So that's number one, that's your lantern. It's £9.99 individually. Um, then next up we have the super cute penguins. Um, these were a massive favorite at the weekend. They're so cheap. They are adorable. Um, so again, you've got your full cutting guide on the inside, both of your dies along the back, and then you have your two colorways. Um, both, both you have, on all six different designs, you have a really classic and then a contemporary colorway. So you've got sort of like the green and reds and then that blue and yellow, and then you've got the cutest sentiment, which friends are the best gift. Then we have the classic Ponsettia. Now this one is gonna be one that sells out I'm sure because it's yeah. just lovely but I don't know how you can pick just to buy one because they're all so great so that one is the Ponsettia two beautiful colorways um, I love how you've got sort of like that 
the light shining on all the different layers here and that's just a design in the paper pad but if you wanted to get even more sort of rustic with this because it's on matte tastic it's on a paper um, weight then you can get your inks in here you can create all different colorways with this one then our third one oh no our fourth one is santa so he is a super super cheerful santa um, your cutting die again on the inside to create your decoupage and then your die set so on each um, image there will be a maximum of uh, I think it's six to seven layers seven, yeah I think um, one's got eight including the base and your paper pad is designed so you just cut um, the image from one sheet and then you'll have enough to do the decoupage as it is shown inside your packaging however because it's snippables, it's completely down to you how you do this. So you can create your images however you want to. So again, we've got that full Santa Claus there. And you can see how much he is layered up. And then you've got the classic Santa Claus in the green suit um, with that Merry Christmas to you um, sentiment. Then our fifth one is the really super cute snowman. Um, and the sentiment on this one reads, wishing you snow much fun. Um, so there's all of your layers. Here are your layers once they are all cut out and you can see um, the dimension that you can create on this one is really quite striking. Um, and they're just gonna be add loads and loads of fun to your card. Oh, I'm missing a die here. This is no good. Oh no. I thought this would be easier to use my dies because I could then open them up and show you all the packaging. But I'm actually missing my die uh -oh. because I've used it in. Um, oh, it's in your demo. Pack, in my demo it? pack. Yeah. Um, so there is the last one, which is the stocking. So a real good mix of sort of like classic and contemporary images, I think. Um, so much fun to create and do. Super, super easy as well, which is what we like. And all the little pieces aren't too small. So if you're someone who struggles with um, deco decoupage because um, of all the small fiddly bits then this is going to be perfect for you and it's so easy I would say that this is something that you can craft with the kids as well um, get them in having loads and loads of fun I'm going to show you the paper pad next up but before we get into that let's go straight over to Rachel to see exactly how you can use your dies so I'm going to start it off quite small so I'm going to start off with a five by five card now I've already cut down some of the snowman and we've got some of the little parts just there and I've also got my guide so I'm just going to have that out on the table as well so I've got here my base layer which we're going to put to one side and we've got three others and I've done the small bits already so we're going to start off so we've got our base and then we've got layer one. So layer one, we're just going to sniff the present off. And then they are, it is really easy to use. Like we're using big scissors here because you don't have to actually cut the paper. Yeah, it, the markings are already there. Snips. So they are just literally like the pips that you would get on your topper collections. You just use your um, scissors to follow the guide around it and it all just snips away um, really, really easily. Um, it's a fantastic set. It's a great set to have um, individually, but we are also selling this set as a huge bundle so you can get all six dies and the coordinating paper pad, which we're going to show you a little bit later on. Um, and that is um, £54.08 um, if you are a member. So if you're a member of our Hunky Dory um, club, then you of course get your discounts um, and that's going to bring that whole that bundle to £54.08. Right, so so we've done this one. So this one's just taking off the presents and his little arms and then we're just going to go in to, so this is layer three that I'm doing now. So we just need to cut off his scarf. And his hands yeah they are really easy to cut these some of them when I was doing the boards you can just like just pull them quite easily as well and yeah I think you can just sort of like remove the yeah. bits and pieces you need and we'll just take that off just to get his scarf and then we're gonna layer him up and then just pop him onto a card 
So, I'm going to start off. So we're going to leave our base where it is, and I'm going to put foam pads just on the back of the one that I'm sticking onto the base. So I'm going to use the small square ones, but you could use any. You could use the little strips. You could use the big ones and just cut them down. I think any yeah. foam pads that we've got are yeah, going to work really, really well because whether you're doing big layers and you want your big foam pads or whether you are sort of doing small ones, you can snip into all of the foam pads as you well, remember. Um, so you can make it work for you. And it's good because quite a lot of the layers, they are still quite big, so you can easily fit them on and they're easy to put together. And you might be thinking, well, how many cards can I make from this collection? So with each um, different design, you have six pages um, in that paper pad that coordinates with it in two different colorways. So you can make a total of six decoupages if you're going to make up um, this snowman the way um, that the guide shows you. However, if you're really, really clever, and the beauty of this collection is that you can create your layers how you want to create them. Definitely. Then you can, you can so use many. half a page to make one card or half a page to make layer up one snowman um, using the style that you want to do it. And then you can make even more from your paper pad. Um, we are going to show that up next, so hold on because we will run you through that and you can see um, just how much you have available um, in your pad because there also is backgrounds included for making up your cards. Um, you have everything you will need. Yeah, I think if I was doing them at home, I think I'd definitely like just do a couple of layers for each one and then, then you've got more in your kit. So I'm just going to put his little foot on. So on the guide, it says to cut out the buttons and stick them on. I'm not going to do that because they're a bit small and fiddly. A bit fiddly. But that's fine. You can do that if you want to. I'm just going to go to our last ones on this page. So I've already cut these down. And I've already put the foam pads on just to save a bit of time. He is just the cutest. He's so cute. You're going to have to... Um, show him in the front camera Rach when you finish just to show how much dimension you get in these because it is crazy to think that from one die you can create this decoupage and it make it look as fantastic as it does. I know it's actually surprising because like when you see it just on the page so you don't think it's going to like layer up quite big but it actually really does. Right so we're going to just put him to one side now I'm just going to get rid of them extra foam pads. And then we're going to bring in our card blank. So I've got a 5x5 five five card blank for this one. And I've already cut... So this is from the paper pad. So you get some background papers to work perfectly with the dies. Now I've also got a piece of um, matastic card. And I'm just going to cut this to 5 inches. And that's just going to go on the back of my card blank. So we're going to stick this on with some construction glue. Oh, trusted construction glue. Oh, definitely. Our trusted. absolute favourite here at Hunky Dory. I think it's everyone so much. uses construction glue, um, especially when you've got the time to let it dry. Definitely. Um, and it's such a good deal as well. Um, you can get six bottles in a bundle, which if wow. you're someone who crafts a lot, you'll know that you will use all of these bits and pieces up. So six bottles in a bundle. Crazy prices. Right, and then we're going to just put our background piece down as well. So I've cut that just a bit smaller, just so we've got that edge of the matastic. Now I've also got another piece as well. Now with this, I'm just going to cut out these snowy hills just to layer it up a little bit. And you can keep the waste as well because that could, could be cut down. Yeah, you'll be able to use that, that for something else. Definitely. So we're just going to put some small square foam pads onto this and then, oh. So this is our Christmas Snipperballs collection, but if you're looking for something um, a little bit more fun 
um, a little bit more not Christmassy, then we have already launched two of our Snipples collections. Um, we have a beautiful floral one and we also have um, an everyday collection which has some really cute images on as well. So um, if you haven't already seen them, then head over to the website. Um, uh, just pop in Snippables and it will bring up all uh, three of our collections that we have done. And they are super, super cute, actually. They are. The flower one's really good as well because like, you can like really cut into the them and get into the dark. And right. also if you're someone who likes to um, use just like layers for making fancy bits on the edges yeah. of your cards, then, then they're great for that as well, aren't well. they? So with my snowman, I've just put some construction glue on the back of him. Now, you won't be able to see it, but I've tucked his bottom layer legs just um, ah. underneath that panel there. Then we're going to get, so also in the pads, you get these outlines. So these are what your sentiments fit onto. So we're just going to just cut out a sentiment for him. And the sentiments are really easy to find as well. So each one has yes. um, the name of the, um, so you can see in just small writing there, it says snowman. So yeah. on each sort of like little wiggly bit and you're thinking, what is that for? It's for your sentiment <laughs> um, to cut out your sentiment. So each one is labeled up. So it's really easy to find the one you need. Yeah, because some of them aren't on the pages no. for the different But characters. I definitely think that the a top tip for using your snippables would be to have a day of cutting out. Oh, definitely. Have a day of cutting out all these layers. Get some little bags to pop them all in, um, and then you've got them ready to go. So then when you want to make your Christmas cards, um, when it comes closer to the time and you're thinking, okay, I'll start I'll start doing some cards now, then you have then all your bits them. ready to go. I don't even think it would take you a day because that's how I did it when I was doing like some cards and stuff. I cut out all the stuff. I think it took me about two hours to cut like all, all of the, the different bits. ones. Yeah, if you've got like um, an A4 die cutting machine, you can like put some of them together, like cut down your paper pad. Oh, I didn't and, think about yeah. that. That's a good tip as well, Rachel. And I think you can fit like three of the different ones so in. So instead of putting the A4 sheet fully into your... Cut it um, down. Cut it, cut it down, run each... Because you'll fit all six in your A6 your you, A4 I machine, think, I think. Um, I fitted five in. Okay. The sixth one, I think it was like the the um, penguins. They're a bit like... A bit oblong. Yeah. But um, when I did it, I just cut three and three. Because if you've got to run that extra one for you, This is well. true. Just do it three and three. So I've also got some of our silver glitter gems. And then just down at the bottom, I'm just going to stick these on and then we've done so also with the sentiments because you, you do get the two different colorways you can actually um cut it out on this and then you could actually cut round so that you've got the border I from like the that. other one i love doing yeah, that it's and such then a it good really tip. stands out doesn't it all right and we'll just stick our last one up there and there we go. He is super, super cute. And One of my favourites. So time. much, so much dimension. There is. And, and it's such a cute card. And this, and you can see here that this has worked on a smaller card. But you can put these onto the largest cards that you can think of. Yep. They're really going to work with all Definitely. different sizes. Um, it's just down to how you create your backgrounds. But remember, you can mix and match these. So you can have Santa and the snowman together. You could have uh, the snowman and the penguins. Um, it's completely down to you. So like I said before, you can get all of these individually. They're all £9.99. However, the best way to get these is in your ultimate collection. Um, and in your ultimate collection, you are going to get all six of those dies and that paper pad. So let's take a look at the paper pad and show you exactly what you're getting inside because it is um, a really good essential and like I say all the time with things like this your paper pad is something that isn't going to last all the time the dies are tools so they're going to last you for as long as you um, look after them as long as you keep them together keep them um, you're going to be able to use them time and time again your paper pad this is the one thing that you're going to use up um, and if you're making them all the way that 
um, is suggested inside the packaging, then you're gonna use it even faster. So it's a great way to add in an extra one while you can. So on the reverse of your um, paper pad, you have full instructions that Stacy has done um, to help you make up your, um, use your paper pad with your dies and help you out as much as possible. And then, like I said, you get um, the images as sort of like printouts onto the paper pad. It's 190, so it's a really good um, thickness. It's quite steady. Uh, you get, you, on here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Santas. Now that's all the Santas that's you need lot. to make up one decoupage. So this one sheet, you can just pull it out, cut all your Santas out, and you're gonna be able to make one following the guide instructions. But you get three of each design, and then you get the second colorway, and you get that in the opposite in three different designs. So you're gonna be able to make up six as the packaging shows you. Um, then you've got your stockings in that really nice blue and yellow and the contemporary and the traditional red and green. I cannot get my words out today. <laughs> then we have the snowman um, in the really nice red tones, all that icy blue that Rachel has just shown you in her demonstration. And then we have our Ponsettia, and you can see there, you can see all those little squiggles on all of the pages. So that is the Ponsettia um, sentiment. Then we also have it in the classic red. So you are gonna be able to make up loads and loads of cards on here. On your Lanterns page, you've got three different sentiments, and they all have the words for which sentiment they belong to so you can easily find them. If you're a little bit stuck, then you can just sort of place your dies over it and you'll also be able to find out it, find it out that way. Um, but there is a really good paper pad. It's a great weight because it's matte, you can add color to it if you're wanting to create more of a vintage look or bring some of those colors out. Um, I really like this blue tone. It's very, very nice. So that is all the pages with your cutouts on. And then in the back of your pad, you have these really nice um, background pages for, which have used um, patterns that are included in the collection. Um, like this one is the pattern from the snowman scarf. Then you've got the background that Rachel used. Um, if you cut these down, they will make A5 sizes, but that doesn't mean you have to use it as A5. You can cut this down even further. You can make six by sixes. Um, with, if you're gonna matte and layer it, you can make five by fives. You can make DL cards with this. Um, the possibilities are endless. You've got really nice music paper. You've got the sort of holly background there with all the foliage and the leaves. Then you've got that really nice blue pattern that works nicely with those penguins. And then the spotted um, sort of rustic brown look. So that is your paper pad. Um, they're $11.99 on their own. However, I'm sure that'll come down if you buy that with your members discount. Um, but if you want to get this with your stamps, then you need to get our ultimate bundle. It's $56.93, but if you're part of the club, that's gonna come down for you. And that will come down to, let me check, cause I don't want to tell you lies, 54 pounds and eight P. That is That's really brilliant. good for everything. Um, really good. But yes, if you are getting it and you're wanting to make lots with it, then why not throw two in um, while they're available Definitely. because they sell out yeah. so fast. Um, let's have a look at a few card models. Um, we'll show you three and then we'll go to Rachel and then we'll come back and we'll show you another three designs. So these are some really nice card makes using those backgrounds you can see, using um, the die as well. I think that die has been cut into to make it go across the card instead of being one big sentiment, but I really like oh, that yeah. one. And That's then Barbara good. has done this one, which is beautiful, using her oh. arch dies, um, adding some Miri in there, picking out all those colors that match from your um, collection, because you can mix and match this with um, Adorable Scorable as well. You can mix and match it with your new Christmas Duo Designs paper pad. You can use your Aperture dies to create big cards. Uh, you can use, again, uh, Jane has used her music paper from the Adorable Scorable collection. So you can mix and match it with loads of things. Um, I've made this one and um, that was on my uh, nice. Facebook page over the weekend. We did this one in the US, US live shows if you tuned into those ones. Um, so we mixed that. I picked out the 
um, pattern from our tartan which worked really well um, or Barbara's made this one um, with a background that Rachel did but you can see how it's bigger if you put it onto a larger card or you can be really creative like um, Rebecca has been here and she's actually <laughs> cut into her die and That's made really three cute, little scenes from the one die instead of having them as one big die. So that's another way that you can utilize that's your really pages um, and you can create more from this collection. Um, or if you're into creating Christmas home decor projects, then how about this one that Jay made? A lovely little um, door frame and she's cut out this little guy a few times to have him running along the bottom. <laughs> um, a really cute example of using it. And then the classic poinsettia. These ones look stunning. Um, I love this uh, little easel wow. that, that Jane has created. It's very, very pretty. And she's mixed and matched that with a duotones paper pad. So even if you um, have, so you want to make the most out of your collection, again, using that tartan, the tartan works really well with a lot of um, the images in here. Even if you don't want to use all the pages from the paper pad, I think there's a good example on all of these cards how you can use your extra bits and pieces that you will have bought over Christmas. And then Rach has done this really nice one um, where all the poncettis sort of come off the edge. Um, so you can see how layering up a few different pieces, because I think you've only uh, still used six yeah, here, haven't you? So that's you've only used six, so that's time. one sheet to create that card. Um, and there's so much inspiration from the team on how you can make these. If you head over to the website, you'll be able to find some pictures on social media and the hub of what you can be making. Um, but Rach, what are we going to do next? Ooh, so we're going to Exciting. mix it up a little bit. We're going to, um, so I've already cut out, so we're going to use the Santa, but we're only going to use three of the images because, let's say, if I was doing them at home, I don't think for every card I'd do all of the decoupage just to make the most out of your sheets. So, let's just cut this one out. So they're just very simple. You've got a little guide round. So if it does go a bit over, then you've still got the colour. Um, but all I'm going to do is just place it on top. And we're going to get some purple tape just to secure it into place. Let's have a little bit more than that, just at the bottom. There we go. And we're just going to quickly run that through our machine. So let's say we're just going to use three layers for this and we're going to cut into just little bits, but we're not going to layer it up too much. So we'll take him out. And then these just pop out. So now we've got our free Father Christmas. So that's going to be our base one. I've already stuck some foam pads onto that. Now, you can actually look at the guide as well just for some inspiration of like where, where you could cut and could just like choose three of them. Um, I am going to, I think, let's start off with this. So we're going to just cut some of his jacket off just there and then we're going to cut off these presents just at the bottom and then I think we're just going to cut the top bit of his jacket just under his arm just there. So you can make up your different layers. That's going to give you so much dimension already, though. Just well, taking definitely. away those little, like background elements, as you would kind of call them, because yeah. they definitely wouldn't be as protruding as the other bits. So it's a good way to to work it out. And if you wanted to, you could use like double foam pads to give oh, it that to extra depth. give it more depth dimension. Well. Yeah. That's a clever idea. You so you're using less it. sheets, but you're still going to have yeah, just as much so. dimension. Right, we're just going to cut down. I think I've cut it small enough, that little bit to go on there. So we're going to put this on straight away. And then we're going to have a look at what else we can snip into. So we'll just place that, that looks good. on top. That's our first layer. 
So, and also with these presents, if you cut them off, keep hold of them. And yeah, they you work could really use them well. as little embellishments. Definitely. You could add more presents behind Santa, so he's got so much more gifts to give. Yeah, and if you if you are doing like the full decoupage as well, like if you keep hold of them, you'd probably make a, a really nice background with that. So we're just going to cut that music sheet off. And I think... I am going to cut, let's cut his arm and I'm going to cut some of his beard off as well. So I want it's to just keep so easy to do. You can see how your scissors are just sort of like gliding through the paper. It just really is. off some of those little embellishments. Well you could use um, your craft knife as well, just like so go down could. the lines. And we're going to cut his shoes as well because we want to have his little shoes in. It is very much definitely down to you um, how you how creative you get with this. Um, what we're showing you here is just different ways in which you can use it. The guide um, gives you full examples of how you can get the most from the layers that you can create. But you can once you've got it at home. There's no sort of stopping you being um, as creative as you want to be. And creating your own decoupage, which yeah. I think is a nice thing to do. Definitely is. All right, so we're just going to stick that one I love how his little face just pops out. Oh, he's, he's really cute, isn't he? He's adorable. And there's so, so much you can do with him um, to make some fantastic cards. We've got some good examples. Um, to show you, once Rachel's finished this, we're going to show you some card medals made with Santa, the stocking, and that fantastic snowman. Yeah, I think the team have done so well with this, and I think we've all really. I think really everyone's enjoyed, enjoyed it, it. Have, yeah. as well, haven't they? Especially like when, if you've got like your nesting dies and you can add like apertures and different stuff had different card shapes, they're just so much fun. And there's so many things as well that we have on our Super Saver deals which is still available um, that you could buy for crafting with this collection. So how about adding your glitters to yes, Santa's coat? Yes, that's a really good Some idea. Some white glitter to Santa's coat, jazz him up a little bit. Um, it's all matte-tastic, it's all a matte paper pad. So your ink pads are going to come in handy, you're going to be able to create beautiful backgrounds with these, you're going to be able to mix and match all of your pieces and they're only any six for nine pounds what a great deal that is to get all the little, maybe you get the reds you get the greens and um, the more Christmassy colors to work with your Christmas bits and pieces it's gonna look fantastic that I really like that idea with the glitter especially like on the snowy seam bit oh my gosh you yeah. could add the glitter to that. you can add that the glitter to the so top cool. you can add glitter so it looks like it's coming down Right, so I'm working on a 6x6 six six card for this one. Now I've already cut down the dark blue from the paper pad and I've just got that creamy dotty paper as well. We're going to stick that on with construction glue. Now when you're at home as well, Rach, yeah, because obviously we're doing it for speed so we're just cutting it through. If you want to make even more out of your paper oh, pad, then you can definitely. cut apertures from this. Yes. And then you've got all more of that paper to use on other collections definitely because this paper is so nice like sometimes you don't want to like layer it on top but it is nice to have that extra border but if you cut like the blue then you have got that little extra to use so i um, just got the snowy seam for this and i'm going to cut these little hills off because i absolutely love this sheet this has got to be my favourite one in the kit. I would definitely be using this up first, I think. So we're going to just add this to the bottom, so then we've got a little platform for Father Christmas to stand on. And we're going to add some foam pads to the back. And then... I wonder what people's favourite character is. Mine is definitely, I think a character, I would have to say the penguins are my favourite. They are so cheeky, aren't they? But as a set, I really love the lantern. Do you? Um, yeah, I think it's so yeah, pretty. The lantern is like, it's something different as well, isn't it? It reminds me of Christmas so, yeah. so much. 
What, which one's your favourite, Rach? I don't know. I think it's between Father Christmas, the penguins and the snowman. <laughs> I wonder what everyone else's is. Let us know. Comment yes, um, your favourite snipper balls. Um, let us know which ones your favourite is. Let us know. Um, some people have already been commenting on the collections, snipper ball collections they've bought in the past, how they've oh, been wow. using it. Um, so let us know if you've got any of those old collections. Um, Faith commented to say that she did that when she bought the flower pads. She spent an afternoon yeah. cutting all of her pieces. She popped them into some um, little boxes for her to use when she needed I them, is uh, which a is a, a great idea um, for those people who like to craft on the go. Kirsty absolutely loves the penguins. Faith also commented to say you could make a wreath with that poncettia. Ooh, How yeah. beautiful would That's that be really to hang idea. in the house at Christmas? Right, so I've, what I've done is, so from the stamp set, the Father Christmas one, there's a little present embellishment. Now I've just stamped these onto some of the papers ah, from oh, the paper Rachel, pad. you're giving away all of our secrets. I know. <laughs> we do have a beautiful this, set of stamps, which we are, are going to so show nice. you next up that work alongside your Snippables dies. So that when your paper pad has run out, then you can create your own images by stamping onto your dies, cutting them out and colouring them in. And that's what Rachel's used here um, with bits of her paper pad to create these, this hill of presents. It says lots of presents. I feel like that's what my house <laughs> should look like this year. Hopefully. It's presents <laughs> on a hill <laughs> of snow inside of course. Definitely of snow. <laughs> right, so... We've got, We've got lots of love for the snowman, Rach. Oh, I think he just looks, he's not like a, I don't know, he's, he looks he looks cute, but he's not like too cute. No, and I think that's the right way to put Definitely. it. The images in here are really well selected. Um, and all the little characters are very, very cute indeed, but they aren't too cute that you can't use them for older generations. Um, I think everyone is going to love this Snipples collection, no matter how old the people are that you're making the cards for, or Definitely how young so. everyone will love them. Yeah, I think there is literally something for everyone in that pad. Right, so we've just cut out our sentiment. And just take that sticky tape off. And then... Our sentiment's just going to go on top and then we'll be finished. Right, and there we go. Very cute. So we've got our hill of presents and Father Christmas, if you have a look, he's still... He's got like loads of dimension on yeah. it and you've only used three layers. Three layers, it's, so it's, I think there's four left. It's crazy. Um, and this, there's an example here of just how um, 3D your Santa Claus can be looking. Um, and this is using all of those layers, um, using that hill effect like Rachel's just done, but mixing and matching it. Um, Kat's also cut into her dies, so she's got Merry Christmas and two you down here, and that's something that you could be doing. Um, Jane's made this really nice card here and utilised all of those presents that she snipped away to create sort of like a wheel of presents around Santa. That's a really cool idea. That's a really good idea. I like that one. Um, and then if you watch the show on, I think, oh, do you know what, actually? This might have been a, a US live demo, so you might not have seen this one. Uh, we just used two layers to cut up Santa here and just oh. make it a little porthole that he's popping out to say hello. Um, then with your stocking, you can get really creative. So again, Jane's utilised her Duo Designs paper pad for this one, um, and she's done some really nice sort of layering up her stamp with Miri and just offsetting it so you get a little bit of sparkle and shine behind that. Um, or you can use your nesting dies as Kat's done here to create a little um, sort of middle section for her die to sit. They and look really good on the DL. Really cool, they? isn't it? And if you want to get super fancy, how about hanging your stockings across the whole of your card? Um, look, that black mirror is so striking. It makes everything stand out on that card there. Um, Snowfall Acetate as well is an obvious yes. one to go with your cards here. It's going to bring them to life so much more. Um, Jane has also done 
a really nice background utilising some of those snowflake dies that we brought to you um, in collections earlier on in the year. Just adding a fantastic background to that one. Um, this one's super, super fun. Aww. A really, this has a name. Comment if you know the name of this card. Oh, so this no is idea. an A4 sheet scored directly down the middle. There's a definite name for it, but I cannot think of what it is. So you've got um, the two on the sides which only have um, their faces decoupaged and then that one in the middle as well um, that has a little bit more than the rest. I really like that one. I Super like fun the idea. the gems have been used for the buttons. I know, well. it's good. It's I, I like really that actually. Good. You could do that with glitter ones, make yeah. them super fun, couldn't you? Using your little gems. And then this is the last one that Jane's utilised her, um, that Christmas cuties paper pad with all the sort of wrapping paper um, theme and then that really nice polka dot on the back. It works so well with that. So that is, and she's also used a different die here. I've just realised that is oh, your, yes. that is the festive That's hugs from the Christmas from the minis. mini. So you can yeah. mix and match all of your collections here to make some really different cards. So that's all of the um, decoupages and all the different cards that you could be making at home. But like we said, we have some stamps for you. Um, so the people who love stamping um, and die cutting and mixing all of those bits and pieces together, then this next one is for you. So we have all six of those images in stamp version. Here we go, wrong camera. <laughs> so we have the lantern, we have the penguins, the poncettia, the Father Christmas, the snowman, and the stocking. And we'll show you on this board because it's so much more easier to actually see all of these images. So we have for you here um, the six different images and these main stamps, the big images that match up with your dies are the same size. So you can die cut, you can stamp onto them, then you can colour in your images to create decoupage with your stamps and dies. A great thing about this as well is that they've all got extra elements to create your backgrounds with and at least three sentiments which you're going to be able to make completely different cards with. Maybe you're making backgrounds for your cards with. Um, who knows? It's completely up to you. If you want to get the full set, it's £30 and that's going to save you a whopping £8 if you're just £18. £18? Wow. That's a really good That's answer. crazy. So you can save £18 if you buy all of these stamps together. They are on a three for two. So if it's just the images that you absolutely love and you love stamping, then you can just get, um, you can buy them individually at £8 so if there's one that really stands out, or you can buy them on a three for two. Um, so any three of our A6 stamps, maybe there's some A6 stamps from other collections as well, then you can mix and match them um, and get crafting. I'd be buying this wreath for sure on its own. I love this one and there are some really nice examples of how you can use your cards as well so using them on their own I keep getting the cameras wrong using them on their own instead of with the dies so you can create some really nice cards with them using them with the dies to create some small decoupage images and I absolutely love this card the coloring is so nice on there um, or we have a little stepper so using your Christmas trees and that Father Christmas to um, hide him in a field full of trees ready for Christmas to come. Then we've got this super cute DL with the stocking and the presents. And I think these presents are from lots of different collections actually. So mixing and matching them is a really good idea. Or you can use your stamps alongside your decoupage paper pad. Um, and I've used this one to create a background. I um, a, li a little bit of parchment and then added all of my decoupage layers onto it. So it's completely up to you how you use your stamps and dies, how you use, if you use them together, if you use them separately. It depends how you're into your crafting. If you wanna um, mix and match them or keep them completely separate, then you can do that. But it's good to have the option to have both so that when your paper pad runs out or if you want to mix and match your paper pad with the stamps, then you can do that. Rach, have we got one a time yes. for one more demo? Yeah, we have, yeah. And we're gonna use the stamps as well, aren't we? We are. This is exciting. Yes. So I'm going to use the penguin stamps. I've already started to cut this out. So I've cut out, so there's on the stamp set, there's two of the little penguins. So I've cut them out. I've cut one twice and then one once. And then I'm going to use a weird shape card. So this is a three by seven card. Oh, that is weird shape. I, I absolutely love like really, really thin cards. 
And what I've done is I've used my circle nesting die. I've just cut out two apertures from the card blank. And then what I've done is I've cut out a three by seven on the green and on the back I've drawn the holes and then I've cut them out. That is the cleverest idea because I can't tell you how much I struggle oh, God, yes. with making sure that it's in the it's right spot. It's lined up, exactly. It's stressful. What I re That is such a clever idea. And then what I'm going to do is, because on the green, my cutting isn't all straight, is we're just going to make a little frame just to go on top so that you, oh, you don't you're see it. Oh, you're going to hide that working. So we're just going to quickly cut these out. So, so I'm doing the frame just using the same size die as I've cut the apertures and then also the... the smaller the, one. Yeah, the, um, no, I think it's the... Larger one. Oh yeah. Could use a smaller one. All right, so we've got one there. We're just going to quickly just cut another one. And we're just going to quickly cut another one. Do you know what would also be really good with these stamps, right? What, what? If you were to win this week's Win It Weekly competition. Oh my God, yes. Because Definitely. this week's Win It Weekly competition is, in fact, our Prism Watercolour Pencils and four people are going to win it. The question this week that you have to answer, you need to like, share and comment, which statement is true? A relic Heidberg printing press prints hunky-dory goodies. B. We keep a Christmas tree in the office all year round. Or C, Dan displays a collection of Barbies in his office. So A, B or C, comment on this video, like and share it for your chance to be winning our Prism Watercolour Pencils. I love that. It looks so good. You know what it also looks like? What? And this is just me being crazy. <laughs> a pair of goggles. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it does. If they're a bit like more close together. Close together then it would definitely be goggles. <laughs> so we're just going to stick our frames just on the top of there. And then we're going to go ahead and stick this onto the card blank. So again, using my trusty construction glue. And construction glue is such a good glue to use when you're having to match up your definitely sort of apertures here because it gives you that time to just move it around and make sure that it's definitely in place. Right, so there we go. So we've kept hold of the outer circle, um, inner circle base that we've cut out. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick that one just in the middle of them two apertures. So I'm just going to get a foam pad. Oof, can take the backing off. And then we're going to just stick that just in the middle there. And then we're just going to cut this down. Now we're going to cut this just to two and a half. Now, if you are doing it at home, because I've I've just rushed into it and didn't really think about the background. So if you are doing it at home, just leave a bit of room or cut your um your paper down for your dies just to. A little bit smaller than what I have, just so then you've got enough to... Enough space for the background. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay, though, because it's just that little green. And I think, because it all matches, then that will just go perfectly. So we're just going to put that, just a little bit of I that, that looks good. in the background. Having that little layer of colour. Yeah. And if you have our... Do you know those festive border strips we bought out with our... Um, oh, yeah. Sentiment. The sentiment, though. The other day, then you could add a little border strip to the top of there to make it all sort of fit in and work together. So we're just going to finish colouring our little penguins out. So I'm just going to colour the presents. And these stamps work amazingly with all of your prison products, whether you're using your water brushes, whether you're using um, your alcohol pens, um, whether you're going to use those watercolour pencils that you have. Um, each different product you use gives your stamps a totally different effect. Um, if you want in a sketchier look, 
um, then definitely use your pencils if you're wanting quite a, a cartoony look like Rachel's doing here then your alcohol markers are going to give your stamps the best definition um, so the different depending on what different mediums you use sometimes can make your cards look completely different as well definitely but these are so cute right and we just got a little bit of red just for the presents and then so with these i'm going to take this little guy that sat down he's going to go just on the middle there i'm going to see him on with his own pads stick some of the little squares and then he can go there now with these ones what I'm going to do is I want them to just be popping out. So we're going to just turn over and just using a little bit of construction glue just on the bottom of his feet, just so we can wiggle it around. We're going to place him where we will want to see him. Just on the after. He's so, so cute. He's going to go there. And if you wanted, you could just like lift that up a little bit. Out. And then with our other one, so we want him to look a bit different. So I'm just, I think I might do him without the present. Or shall we? Oh, I think the present's quite cute. Yeah, we'll, we'll put him quite down to the bottom. So we'll just put a little bit more construction. And I'm guessing, Rach, if you want to hide sort of like your workings even more, then you could cut yeah. that panel out exactly the same again and pop and it on put the it back. On top. Definitely. Right. How so. cute is that? So we've got our little penguin. going to cut that down using our trimmer. there we go so we've got our little penguins he is and they're poking through well they are <laughs> so cute and they're super mischievous and they, they look at really you like are. they're going to cause so much trouble um and they're going to work amazingly on christmas cards i'm sure there's loads of little um, mischievous um, boys and girls out there that are going to love that card because it's so so fun so that is everything we have to show you on our snippables collection today um if we can if we run through um, um, we of course have that snippables christmas cheer stamp collection which is 30 pounds for six stamps um, and those stamps are jam-packed with all of your christmas stuff if you want to get your um, dies individually, you can do, they're £9.99, but the best way to do it is to buy that ultimate bundle where you get all six dies and your paper pad for £56.93. Or if you're in the club, then that's going to come down to £54.08. Um, and of course, that paper pad, because you're going to want two of them, um, you can get an extra one for £11.99 and that's going to come down a little bit as well if you are in our creating craft our uh, creating craft if you're in our <laughs> hunky dory club um, and you can be a member of our um, hunky dory club um, all you have to do is go online to hunkydorycraft.co.uk you can join it for free you just need to give us your email address and you're going to get five percent off all of your orders so for something that is completely free it's definitely well. worth doing definitely worth doing um so 
A few things that we have to tell you because we've gone through absolutely everything for you today is that our TV schedule, um, I'm back down at Crate and Craft tomorrow, um, very, very busy bee at the moment. Um, I'm down there with an amazing collection and I thought there were some cards in here. There isn't, but if you give me one second because I have something to show you, I'm just gonna go steal it because I have to give you a sneak peek of this. Definitely. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if Dan was here, he'd be showing you the whole collection, let's <laughs> be honest. Which camera, which camera? Look at this. This is our festive Radiance Miri Magic Collection. It is amazing. I want to show it off, but it's so beautiful. And there are amazing teals and really rich plum and red colours. It's phenomenal. You've got some beautiful Christmas religious sort of imagery in there. I'm trying to show you just how sparkly it is, but the lights are being really, really troublesome with this one. It's beautiful. I'm it sure really you can beautiful. all agree just how exciting um, this collection is going to be. So at 9.45 tomorrow morning, you can join myself I'm not sure who it's going to be with. I think it might be Nigel though, which is going to be lots and lots of fun for the launch of this most beautiful collection. This is just one of the things that you can buy um, from that collection. So that's going to be loads of fun. Um, and then we are back here on Wednesday. Dan and Rebecca are going to be doing that show. We're going to add the Midnight Botanica um, Miri Magic collection to our um, rollover box. So if someone wins that, on Spin the Wheel on Friday. This is gonna be added in another beautiful Miri collection. Um, but that's it for today's show. We've had so much fun showing you and I know that you've loved this collection because that's all everyone's talked about is how wonderful this Snipples collection is. Um, so head online, go get yours before um, they run out because the chances are that it they might do. Um, but thank you for joining us. Thank you, Rachel, for your thank demonstrations. You. It's been great. Um, and we will see you back here on Wednesday for another live launch. Bye.